going to locomotion in Shildon. And so what's that? Well, it's the um, it's another bit of the National Railway Museum, like the one at York, but uh, they've got like an annex at Shildon. So as we're only up the road, I uh, thought it'd be nice for us to uh, pop down there today as we've got a day free. to Shielding Railway Museum. We've been here before, there is a video about it. Um, but, well, yeah, as we're in the area, so we're out here, it's, it's again, it's like last time, a bit of a cold, overcast day. But we're gonna go on inside and have a good look around. Come on. It's a big, aren't they? Yeah, this is a Queen Mary brake van. Um, I do like these. They're, they're, they're quite a, an interesting, very different brake van. And then behind it, I probably should know what it is, but I don't. I think it's something like a, possibly something like a J36, but again, I don't know. The number should tell me, but <laughs> I have a life. I don't memorise what all these numbers mean. <laughs> well, we're here in the museum at Shildon, and this has really caught our eye. This is um, what appears to be an original Stockton and Darlington railway carriage. And it's, it's quite interesting to see, we read the, the plaque and the little label with it and it appears to be an original and um, it, it's built very much in the style of um, horse-drawn stagecoaches and as Zoe and I were discussing, it, it's probably very much a case of they went, well, we need, we need a carriage, well, we need some means of taking posh people on this railway, I'll stick a, a stagecoach on, on, a, uh, on wheels and we'll be right. And that is pretty much uh, what it amounts to. One interesting feature which I've noticed is it appears to only have one of its original wheels. We can see down there uh, this axle with these wheels here. They're much more ornate uh, and my guess is that that's an original wheel. But if we go to the other end, it's a much more simplistic double-spoked wheel, probably of something like an old coal wagon. Uh, and for whatever reason it's had to, had to have that wheel replaced. But it's beautifully done out with all this, uh, you know, the fancy uh, paintwork. And you can see that a lot of effort's probably got in, gone into this. Well, we just stood here uh, in the main hall at Shildon, and we're next to this uh, snowplow. This is the North Eastern Railway snowplow number 12, Percy Main, which uh, is uh, a place up near, near Newcastle, Sunderland Way. But uh, it's quite nice, this, because it's, uh, well, it's a snowplow for clearing the snow, and it probably would have been used to places like the Stainmore route over the Bella Viaduct through Kirby Stephen East, places like that. Um, but it's quite nice because we've got the original painting of Eden Valley Standard by John Wigston and uh, this uh, plough is certainly one to exactly the same design is featured um, in that painting so it's nice to see the real thing. Okay, this is the North Staffordshire Railway L class, it's an 062 um, built for the North Staffordshire Railway uh, but it's survived by virtue of being sold into industrial use, worked at a colliery and that's how it survived. And you can see from the weathered paintwork that it's it's probably uh, come off ticket. It's uh, in need of a restoration, um, but it's it's well used, lived in. But down here, you can see on these wheels the metal tire that goes around the edge. They're actually fitted on um, the entire. They're a separate um, piece that's put on over the actual wheel. But we can see there's actually a groove on the inside where it's run on the rails and you can actually feel a ridge on the outer side and even this is sort of, it kind of curls over over time kind of in the same way that uh, if you have a cold chisel and a mallet and you use that cold chisel for a long long time the uh, top of the metal actually appears to slowly mushroom over so we can see there there's even bits that are, are spalling off there, bits of metal 
It's the only surviving North Staffordshire Railway uh, passenger locomotive. Um, quite a small system around sort of Stoke-on-Trent, uh, Audley, Burslem, that kind of area. But uh, you can see in the pre grouping period the amount of pride that went into the livery on these things. And all that, of course, is, uh, would be hand painted. I think this is a transfer, but uh, certainly the lettering and the linings all hand painted. We've got here another one of these Stockton and Darlington railway coaches, uh, but we're on a platform here now, so we can see it from platform level. Um, well, we're just looking on the roof, and it's interesting that they, they borrow a lot from the stagecoach design, even down to we've got these rails for putting your luggage on the roof. Probably not the greatest if the weather was bad, but also you have to be careful. You can see those pots there, they're the, the flues for what would have been probably paraffin lamps to light the inside of the coach. Uh, but we can see through the windows here actually, we've got the second class compartment, and it's actually very basic. You do have a cushion on the seats, but not a lot else. But here in the middle, we've got a first class compartment, and we've even got nice little curtains and much more, more leg room. There we are. Well, we're here by this is a, a pannier tank locomotive, a Great Western Railway pannier tank, but it's actually the one used in the 1970 Railway Children uh, film, and it's been cosmetically restored to the livery that it wore in the film, which is totally fictitious. Great Northern and Southern Railway. Um, it really just looked nice. In fact, it's uh, so newly done, I can still smell the paint on it. There's uh, uh, a gentleman just been walking around touching up little bits with a tin of brown paint. But this does look wonderful. And it's one that Backman have announced that there, there will be a train pack uh, with a model of this locomotive and a model of Oakworth Railway Station in the Seamcraft range, uh, which I might, might be quite tempted to buy, even though it's a completely fictitious livery. But it does look good and will fit in with my pre grouping collection. Well, actually, it's been a quick little video here at uh, Locomotion at Shildon. You can hear the noises of restoration in the background, so they're uh, sticking back together. Uh, another old classic train. Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to look at the last time we were here at Shildon. And uh, you can share this video, like it too. Don't forget to look back through all of our previous videos. Uh, there's plenty there to see. Anyway, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying you take very good care of yourself. And uh, bye for now.